guys, Sarah here. How are you going? Um, I am doing another ink swatching video today. These are fast becoming my favorite videos to do. The backstory for this one is, I think I've said it before, I was, I discovered Birmingham Pen Company's inks. I put a shout out, okay, basically on our, the Fountain Pen Australia Facebook group and two amazing people sent me samples. Um, I've got nine samples in total. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it into one video, but I thought I would do a couple now and maybe in a couple weeks' time do the rest. Um, so far, the little bits that I've seen, I am really, really loving. So I'm going to jump straight in. I have five samples that I'm going to do here. And um, this... Uh, Pen friend from the Facebook group sent me a list of what he had and said you can basically pick. And I picked four. I picked Eroded Bronze, uh, Pennsylvania Railroad Boiler Steam, which is a blue black. That one I didn't pick. Um, Waterfront Dusk and Alternator Crimson. And I said to him, because um, he had lots of blues, I said, look, I really struggle with blues. If there's a blue that you love and you want to swap it out for one of them, go for it because I'm always trying to find blues that I like. And he actually just included it, which is Birmingham Pitts, Pittsburgh Banker Ice Rink. Some long names, but I thought, why don't we start with that one? I've already got ink on me. Oh, God. So it looks like a darker blue. Didn't really have myself set up. Look, I've already got it on the page. <laughs> oh, off to a fantastic start. That's okay. I'm just, I'm just seeing down the bottom there. There's a little bit of green. I wonder if I actually had a little bit of ink left on this measuring cup. That's a pity. Um, straight away, what I see is it. It's almost like a light blue-black, if that makes sense. There's a blue to it, but I can see the kind of blacky greys of it as well. I'm interested to see how it dries. I actually don't mind that. I, th I think I like blue-blacks more than blue. Um, bit of a pity about that. I'm just trying to see if it pops up anywhere else. Or was it in the syringe? Oh, that's clean. As always, I do, I do struggle to find things to say about blues. Um, they just don't seem overly like descriptive to me, which I'm sure I know that a lot of people like ears would be burning because people love blue so much. Um, but I think it's nice. I think it would be really work appropriate, um, which is always good to have interested to see how it behaves on the dip pen. So this is. Birmingham Pen Company, and I'm definitely going to spell this wrong. Pittsburgh. I've seen with um, Birmingham Pen Company, they they all have like great names, sometimes long, but. I don't know. Great names, I think. They're all interesting and clever and everything else. Like I've got one in the other thing, in the other um, Happy Mail I was sent, and it's called Banana Slug. Like that's just a fun name. I was thinking maybe of one month doing um, inking up pens just purely based on what I think are the best names, <laughs> just to kind of see what I come up with. So there you go. That is Birmingham Pen Company, Pittsburgh Banker Ice Rink. As it's drying where it's pulled, I think you're going to get some really nice shading. If it hasn't been obvious kind of with my videos, I'm definitely more of a shading person than a sheen. Stalogy isn't really known for sheening, but I, it, it doesn't bother me that uh, because I, I just really like things that shade, so I'm always interested in that. Um, maybe some tiny bits in the writing sample, but it just looks like a nice, well-behaved blue. Next up, we will go with Waterfront Dusk. So 
So I don't know if you can see in there, but it's this really beautiful deep purple. I don't really have too many questions for you guys today. I have spent the morning. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. I'm going to stop talking because that is amazing. Look at that depth of. Sorry, that's me clanging my measuring cup. Look at that depth of color. That is a beautiful, dark purple and I can already see as it's as it's drying you can see the variation in color where it's lighter it's going to be a little bit cooler and as you get to the pooling it's going to be dark but also has a little bit of warmth in it that's really really beautiful I can't wait to see how that the bit that's pooling dries and let's just jump right in and see how it dries I should have just written Birmingham Pen Company across the top instead of writing it every time Hmm. What to do? I'm going to, maybe I can, oh God, what do I do? I'm just going to write the ink name. Do you ever do that? I do it with podcasts, but even like with TV shows where people are like trying to work something out and, or they're trying to think of, um, the answer to something and you know it and like you're saying it out loud even though you know full well that they, they're not going to be able to hear you. So this is waterfront dusk. That felt really nice coming off the nib. I think that's just a beautiful ink. Oh, gorgeous. There you go. While I clean everything, Tell me what you think I should do. Should I like put some washi over that? Maybe put some washi there so it looks tidy and write Birmingham Pen Company somewhere. Well, because I've kind of decided to not write it everywhere, or should I just leave it there and then just write the labels for the rest? Obviously, you can't tell me in real time what to do, but I'd be interested in what people would do. All right, next up, we are going to go with Birmingham. Oh, I've said it again. All right, next up we're going with eroded bronze. Now I actually have this inked up in March for my currently inked for March. I swatched it on one of my little Kakuyo cards and I really, really liked it. So I didn't want to wait. I've got it inked up in my Twisby Go and I'm really, really excited to see how it writes with, how it writes, how the pen writes with it. Oh, speaking English. So I think that this ink, when you swatch, has a little bit of chroma shading which is kind of really cool when you write with it you do see more of the blues but I love that you can see the undertones of pink and purple possibly not as much through the camera interesting uh, Lee but then also you can see like where it pulls you get the greens coming through so straight away inks that have kind of have that dynamic quality to them and the layers are, I love and it's definitely what I go for so this is eroded bronze and as you can see you don't get all of that variation in the writing sample but this is with a fine nib but I reckon like I'd love to try this it's my cat scratching I'll go get her in a second I would love to try this in a, a stub nib or something one day all right one second I'll just go I'm back uh video the notebook might be in a slightly different place because I just had to pause and go and do some stuff but what that has meant is it's given this time to dry so I thought I'd just give you a close-up of the three colors so far just minus that bit how gorgeous that purple is the bits of black in there and this one oh amazing love this so 
two more inks to go. A Let's do a blue and a purple, kind of purple. Let's do this one first. This is Alternator Crimson. And what's interesting about this one from memory when I swatched it on my card is I think when it goes down, it first looks like a... Look at the little effect of the lid. It's got like a halo on it, um, just the shadow. It goes down almost like a bit of a grey, dark grey, and then as it dries, goes more into a, a purpley colour. That ink, it's funny how you start to just like, I know I'm drilling down into these like tiny details, but that ink almost felt like it was coming out of the syringe faster than some others, so that it would almost be thinner compared to thicker. So I don't know if that means it's got like less pigment in it. Um, it's amazing as you get to know inks and pens that the tiny little details you start to pick up on. And that's just something I felt just then coming out of the syringe compared, compared to, you know, these two as an example. But I don't know if I'm hoping that's being picked up on the camera. It, it goes down and then now as it's drying, for me, I'm starting to see those burgundies, maroons kind of coming through. So let's see how it writes. Alternate tour. It writes really beautifully. I think that's a really gorgeous color. It's, you know, it's in my wheelhouse. I love inks that if you looked at it quickly, it could almost look black. But once you go back and actually see it's got a color there, um, that's my happy place. And I think that one definitely fits that description. I just realized I don't have my blotting paper underneath. So look, in the writing sample and in that swatch, you're not really getting much shading. But it's a fine nib. It would be interesting to explore this ink a little bit more, but even just that as just a standard like base colour, I think that's just really beautiful, really dark, burgundy, purple, brown type of thing. I mean, look at these colours. So Birmingham Pen Company don't, ship internationally anymore. They did. And what I've learned from um, the pen friend who sent me the other Birmingham samples is that I think uh, last year, a couple of years ago, people in the, the Facebook group got together and did like a big Birmingham pen company order because it's just about the weight of shipping. Um, so look, it would be amazing if they start shipping internationally again or even if there was like one stockist in Australia who could do that kind of bulk ordering which helps with things like weight and shipping costs and we could buy. But they're such beautiful inks. There's definitely a lot of love for them in Australia. So hopefully at one point in the future they, you know, we can work out to do that other bulk order or something again because there, there really is a lot of love for Birmingham pens here, not just their inks, their pens as well. Last but not least is Pennsylvania Railroad Boiler Steam Blue Black. Long title. I think I'll just write Pennsylvania Ra Railroad Road Boiler Steam. Last but not least, Pennsylvania Railroad Boiler Steam, which is a blue-black. My voice is a bit croaky this morning. My daughter actually woke up this morning. And I think because she'd like literally just woken up. 
her voice was a little bit croaky. She goes, I have a yo voice. I have a yo voice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like mama. Which was, I don't know, it pulls at your heartstrings, doesn't it? And a little bit, I mean, a sentimental, I've just lost my dip pen. I'm in a sentimental mood because I'm going back to sleep school tomorrow. And I'm pretty sure I'm just going to edit out the entire ramble that I just went down because I just was rambling on about how much I love my kids, which you guys don't need to hear about. Um, the TLDR version is my son just had his first swimming lesson and it's a bit of a cuteness overload, so it's put me in this sentimental mind frame. But let's get back to what everyone's here for, which isn't my kids, it is this. I think this is a really nice blue-black. Again, I, I would gravitate towards something like this. I mean, I know I said I'd gravitate to this versus something else, but then this compared to this even. Um, I found a really interesting blue-blacks, like this, you can see like the greens underneath it. There's like almost like a really, really dark teal to it. Um, it's really interesting to see how, I guess, the different compositions of different blue blacks. But I think this is nice. I think this would, again, be a really nice work color. So this one was called Pennsylvania. So there you have it. Those are the five um, Birmingham Pen Company ink samples that an awesome pen friend from the Fountain Pen Australia Facebook group sent me. We have Pittsburgh Banker Ice Rink, which is a nice medium blue that I think it's going to have some nice shading qualities to it. Waterfront Dusk, a beautiful, deep, rich purple with hints of black in there that I absolutely love. Eroded Bronze, bit of chroma shading going on. Pinks, purples, greys, blues, definitely a favourite. Alternator Crimson, a really dark burgundy mar maroon is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, again, I, th I love how it looks in the writing sample. And then Pennsylvania Railroad Road Boiler Steam. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know if you have used any Birmingham Pen Company inks and what your favourite is. And I'll speak to you guys again soon. Bye.